have been traveling and I'm gonna be traveling again. So today's video is gonna be quick, but I'm gonna do an unboxing of something. I received this as a gift and I think it is super interesting. I think it'll be fun to unbox because it's crazy looking and I cannot wait to try it out. But let me tell you a caveat real quick. Ignore, oh wait, oh yeah, you can see. You see that yellow strip of paint? That's the old color of the house. We weren't able to do a microwave above the stove after all, so we just got a new range hood and we haven't repainted yet. And there is something else that's off. Well, everything's off. But anyway, I just got in late last night from Austin. My mom fell. We were there for seven or eight days and we just got home and we're leaving again. So yeah, hopefully I'll get a video up next week. I might not though, so don't, don't panic if I don't. <laughs> you would never even notice, I mean, please. Okay, what am I unboxing? I just took this out of a cardboard box. This was delivered um, FedEx. It didn't come from Amazon. It came directly from the company. This item I'm gonna show you, it says handmade in the Netherlands, and it's this coffee maker. And it's really crazy looking, y'all. But the person that gave us this coffee maker knows that I adore hotel coffee, high-end hotel coffees. I have even gone to the, um, I was staying in Laguna Beach, at the Montage. I've been there many times. It was a very high-end hotel. They have unbelievable coffee. So one day I called the chef at the hotel. I wasn't, I was back home and I called the chef and he sent me a pound of the coffee without me asking him, but he gave me the name of the coffee. I bought the coffee. It still didn't taste the same. In Hawaii at the Ritz Carlton in Maui, this is all business y'all, business trips. Um, they had the most amazing Kona coffee. I couldn't, I never could replicate it. So we're gonna see if this crazy thing here will make hotel coffee for me. So I'm gonna unbox it for you. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get into, so I may need to pause. Okay, I already need to pause because I can't even get the lid. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, it came in another box in the, oh, no, wait, okay, good, okay. This must be my directions, or this might be the coffee fill. Yeah, this is the directions. And let me take some of this cardboard out and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, before I take it out, it's still in all the cardboard, but I got the outer box off. Um, the color, of this coffee maker is the accent color that I use around my house. And it's Tiffany blue. I probably, if it would have been me, I probably would have ordered plain white. But um, this thing comes in many colors, y'all, probably 12 colors. So if you're interested in it, I will tell you the price at the end because <laughs> it's crazy. Um, all right. It is so cool. Here is the, oh, here's, here's the thing, okay. Isn't that beautiful? I love the color, oh my gosh. I love the color, cardboard in the floor. All right, <clears throat> it's a very simple coffee maker. No, you know, fancy thing as far as like, no, you don't need a degree, you know, to make coffee with it, it's plain. The person that sent it to me told me what coffee to get. Well, he, he gave me like four different choices. Now this wasn't a company, y'all. This wasn't a company, it's a friend. So now it does have a small carafe. It's like five cups, but if it tastes like hotel coffee, I'm, 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 I'm there for it, I'm down for it, right? Um, it does take cone-shaped filters, hand-built and individually tested. So I've got to figure out where I'm gonna put it. Um, either where my other coffee pot is, which is over here, but you really see it from the room, and if it's kinda too bright for my taste, 
I'm gonna put it where my microwave is. We had to buy, we bought a tiny little microwave because we couldn't put one over. It's, it's such a long story, y'all. We have had such trauma with everything trying to do this kitchen because nothing is standard size in this kitchen. Nothing is normal in this kitchen. And so we've had quite the time. Now I'm gonna have to get out my Dollar Tree scissors. Y'all need to get these, they're the best. Oh no, I don't, I'll have to do, okay. So I've got the filter. Okay, I'm gonna assemble this and wash the pot and maybe I'll make some. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. Oh, I don't have the good coffee. Well, I have good coffee. Scott and I drink um, Javalier, I think. Oh wait, we switched. We switched to community blend coffee. Y'all, that coffee's been around for a hundred years and we use the medium, or the medium or the dark, I don't remember. But I'm going to assemble this first and show you what it looks like. Y'all, <laughs> this is the cutest coffee pot I have ever seen. I'm gonna lift it up and show it to you because I gotta decide what, where to put it, but I'm gonna try that out. But first, I just wanna show you how freaking adorable. Look at this coffee pot. It looks huge, y'all. Online, I would have never in a million years bought it. And then when I looked at the measurement, it's so tiny. It's smaller than my regular coffee pot that does Keurig on one side and regular pot on the other. So I've washed the carafe. I'm gonna figure out where to put it and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I just stuck it here um, in this little corner. I think it's so cute. I've got my bamboo plant with the same uh, color thing, a shell and my little date thing that I change every morning. So that's how it looks. It, it, it's just so cute in person, y'all. It just looks like a toy. It's just adorable. So listen, I am going to now make some coffee. It's very simple. All, all you have is on off and half carafe or full carafe is what you do with this. So I'll see if I can get the right amount of coffee. I don't have the exact coffee that uh, they said to use, but I'm just gonna do it anyway and see what happens. And when I say type of coffee, I just mean uh, it's no specific brand you have to use. It's just the grind. It won't be a full test, but it'll be pretty close. Okay, y'all, I decided I have to wait because Scott's out uh, poisoning the weeds. <laughs> so I don't want to do it without him here because he's excited about it too. So I will wait a little bit and I'll be back. And so, yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, y'all, I'm fixing to make the first half pot. So I poured my water in this little thing. This thing is what's supposed to make it so good. First of all, the water gets the exact optimal temperature. And then this thing is like a shower and it showers the water over all the grounds versus just dripping straight down like a regular drip coffee maker. So let's see uh, how long it takes. Actually, I'll time it and come back. Okay, we're about 45 seconds in. It's making coffee, you can't really see it. But it's so cool, it looks like a science experiment. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. We put the amount of coffee, they said, which is more coffee than we normally would have used, so. Okay, y'all, Scott and I have had our first cup of coffee. It's definitely better coffee. It's very smooth. That's the main thing I've noticed. And I used more coffee than normal, just because that's what they, I guess we've been using half as much coffee as industry standard. Maybe that's why our coffee's bad. <laughs> but anyway, this was very, very good. And I wanted to tell you, but we're gonna try some other brands of coffee and stuff like that to really try it out. But I wanted to let you know, I think I showed y'all this last, I think I did a Christmas haul and I showed you my coffee cup that Scott got me. It's um, chargeable, you can charge it. And it stays hot about an hour and a half to an hour 45 minutes. But the ones online, the embers, they're like a hundred and something dollars. 
And uh, I've had some friends that have had them and they have been, had problems with them. I'm not saying anything, but this was from Walmart. I don't remember the name of it, but I think it's the only one they carry. It comes in white, it comes in black. And I think it was $39.99. And my thing was, if I love having it, keeping my coffee hot, and um, it quits on me real quick, I'll upgrade to the Ember. This thing's been going since last December. It's working perfectly fine. And I had told Scott, you know, if I get four or five months out of this, I'll just replace it. Well, I'm probably gonna get a year out of it or more. And it makes all the difference in the world in your coffee is it for it to keep hot. Hour and a half. Now, I usually refill it, but if I didn't and I go to drink it like after an hour, I forgot I had coffee and I go over there and have a sip, it tastes just like when I first got it. So there's another little coffee tip for you. And um, not sure if I'll see you next week, but for sure the week after that. Talk to you later, bye. One last thing y'all, I forgot to tell you the cost of the coffee maker. I think it's $350.